Hello and welcome back to Samantha's Kitchen. So, I am personally very, very tired uh, this week. Um, I've been decorating the spare room and I don't really have much time to um, cook something um, grandiose or overly complicated and I thought that this uh, would be a perfect um, recipe um, so you know if you're busy like um, myself um, I thought that this would be perfect to show you it is another slow cooker recipe um, you don't have to do this or, uh, in a slow cooker uh, but if you want to save some time you can um, and it is a hearty vegetable casserole so I intend to bang it all in here and voila in a in five to seven hours it will be perfect okay so let's get on with what we need for today so it's a really really great dish is is this um, and it's packed full of vegetables and full of flavor and so what we're going to put um, in the casserole um, for, for this one uh, we're going to use a large white onion half a courgette um, hidden under here we've got two large carrots we have two leeks we have um, two celery sticks we have a good bunch of um, broccoli uh, about uh, I'd say a cupful and then we have um, some sweet so we're going to add all this into the slow cooker now Ooh, if I can without dropping it everywhere come on really use the lid but hey ho um, and then we are going to add our pulses and uh, this is not gonna have meat in it but if you wanted to uh, put meat in you um, could put chicken beef pork um, and let it cook away um, I'm using um, some mushrooms uh, these are chestnut mushrooms I've got a cupful I've got um, a tablespoon of red lentils a tablespoon of um, green split peas and a tablespoon of barley pearl barley so we'll put all this in here now like so and then for the spices we are going to put in the following. So I've got um, a teaspoon, a heat teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I have got half a teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of white pepper. I have half a teaspoon of uh, celery salt, a teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of um, mixed herbs, half a teaspoon of rosemary, two bay leaves, and then I have, um, I think, four small tomatoes and a heaped um, uh, tablespoon of tomato puree. So we'll put all this in. Like so. Making sure that we get everything in. Like so. And then, we are going to put in some stock. Now, um, in England, we have meat-free or, or vegan beef stock, um, and I have added um, three stock cubes um, uh, and one vegetable stock cube. If you don't have um, uh, vegan beef stock cubes, you can just substitute this and put in a total of three vegetable stock cubes. And we're just gonna pour all this in now making sure that we get all the stock in and we're going to give this a good stir and now we're going to add another another I would say two whole cupfuls of water yeah. so with a slow cooker what we need is is we need the, the water to be just 
or the stock to be just covering um, the vegetables what you'll find is a slow cooker will cook out all the the water from the vegetables and infuse into the stock so um, it's a hit and miss of how much you need to put in but just enough to cover them vegetables like so okay we'll give this a good stir now and then we will um, put the lid on it Oops. put the lid on it give it a nice stir making sure everything is covered and then we'll put a lid on it and then we'll come back in a couple of hours to see what it's like okay so it has had about five hours now and let's have a look at this and give it a good stir yeah it's looking absolutely beautiful apologies for the steaming yeah nice gravy we might have to thicken this gravy a little we'll see how it goes um, so what I'm going to do with this is I am going to um, put in some um, potatoes and I'm also going to put in um, some dumplings which I'll show you how to make um, I'm a bit weird I like my potatoes hard a lot of people uh, don't and so you would put in potatoes um, when you put in all the other ingredients uh, five hours ago but I only like to cook my potatoes in the slow cooker for, for like 15 minutes and that's it but that's my personal preference um, so this veg casserole you can throw anything in anything in at all it's full of goodness if you want to throw spinach in there you can if you want to throw cauliflower in there you can you name it you can throw anything in it um, so what we'll do now is I'll show you how I make uh, the dumpling mixture okay to make the dumpling mixture it's dead simple all you'll need is a teaspoon of salt teaspoon of salt You'll need the same with white pepper, teaspoon of white pepper. And then to make four dumplings, um, think of it as a tablespoon uh, of flour per dumpling. So that's one, two, now these are heaped tablespoons, three, and Four. I'll just put a tiny bit more in uh, because the first one were a little bit small and then you will need some vegetable suet so I generally put in um, half the amount so you'll need one and two okay now it's very important not to add a lot of water to this um, and I'll show you um, what to add. So you can do um, two types of dumplings. We're going to do um, dumplings that are not hard and done in the oven. So you could actually, if you'd had an oven dish, you could take your oven dish off and put your dumplings in and then the hat um, the top of the dumplings would be crispy and the bottom of the dumplings would be soft we're doing all soft today so i'm just going to add a bit of water like so and stir making sure trying to not get it everywhere um you want the dumpling to be slightly wet um a slightly wet mixture Keep stirring that in and like so until you get all of these. Now you don't need to worry 
because if you have it slightly too wet or slightly too dry just add a little bit of water or a little bit of flour but this is just right this kind of consistency here and what we'll do now is we'll put these in the slow cooker in the slow cooker they'll take about an hour to cook so we'll just take the lid off and it's actually really quite simple to do you get a heaped spoonful and you tip it in like so just swap hands and the same again heat teaspoon a uh, tablespoon sorry and put them in like so um, and again and you might get more than four you might not um, that's a little bit of a small one there um, but we'll add a little bit more to it like so you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want and um, it's entirely up to you trying not to get it everywhere and there you go put the lid on take about an hour to cook just about to put my potatoes in as I said I like mine hard and I just wanted to show you we've had about 55 minutes cooking um, but because they've grown so big I'm just cooking them a bit longer um, I'm going to add my potatoes now obviously you would have added them at the beginning um, yeah uh, so the next time you'll see it you'll see the dish when it's about to be served it's now time to serve um, everything's cooked through now and uh, let's dish this up <gasps> look at that oh my goodness look at that look at all the beautiful flavors the gravy <gasps> look at that absolutely amazing enjoy stay safe everyone if you like this video please hit the notification button like it and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye